And tickets for the two-day Latin music festival, La Onda, go on sale this morning in about an hour and a half. And it's going to be a big deal. The uh, festival is put together by the creators of Bottle Rock. You know Bottle Rock. And will showcase a diverse range of musical genres, including the music from a popular group up and coming, Eslabon Aramado. Eslabon Armado has been making music history this year. Their song, Ella Baila Sola, peaked at number four on the Billboard Hot 100. It stayed there for 23 weeks. That's incredible. Becoming, by the way, the first regional Mexican song to reach the top 10. The track also was the first regional Mexican song to hit number one on Billboard's Global 200. And this morning, we are joined by one of the members of Eslabon Armado. Hi, Pedro Tovar. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Hi, pretty good. Uh, I just woke up right now like five minutes ago, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Way to keep it real and honest. We appreciate it. Well, thankfully, you are here to hang out and talk about this music. You know, I mean, I grew up listening to regional mu music or musica mexicana is what they kind of refer to it now. And, you know, tell yeah. me a little bit how this influenced what you guys are doing. Man, so uh, it's crazy because uh, we used to live in the Bay Area in Redwood City. And I used to live. I used to listen to a bunch of like uh, radio music. I I never had the chance to really go on YouTube. I never had like an iPad to look up music or Spotify or anything like that. So it would always be the radio for us. And I would uh, the radio. We would always me and my brother used to always listen to like the English radio. So a bunch of I don't know. K K Perry was popping. Macklemore, <laughs> Taylor Swift, uh, and all the like 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 the, the 2010s banger were out. We were listening to them. But but then my mom, she would always change it to the Mexican radio and I would never like it because I would hear the same songs over and over uh, but into one day I heard uh, Ariel Camacho which um, you know, sadly he passed away and, and I kind of got influenced by that sound the guitars and the tuba and I just wanted to you know get that sound and do it for myself so then I, I started I picked up the guitar and I was songs and then people just liked it so yeah, and you know, a lot of, you can hear the traditional sounds, but you're taking it the next step. Tell us about the music evolution. Oh, it's evolved a lot, 100%. Um, I think uh, the music, is, it's, it's barely, you know, it's not at its peak yet. You know, it's it's going, it's getting there. I mean, the song, Gaya Baila Sola, I mean, it, it did go global, but I feel like there's more artists out there that they're going to release more global songs. So, you know, I just wish the best to, to every artist and you know to for uh for the regional mexican to grow and not just be regional to be musica mexicana you know that, that's what i've always wanted to do and i've always wanted to show that to everyone that you know that if, I, if we could do it you guys could do it too so um you know it just it's been evolving uh, throughout the last 10 years and it's going to keep evolving honestly. Pedro, it's one thing to have a song that hits, but then to match it with a music video that is of equal quality. I want to jump into that party. Take me behind the music video, who thought of it and what that shoot was like. So the music, the music video, it was going to be another idea. Uh, our record label had chosen a different idea. Uh, but then uh, Peso, he told me, he was like, hey, we should do it like a uh, like great Gatsby vibes and I was like well I kind of like the idea so <laughs> um he uh he kind of got the idea and then and then our, our rec label kind of like implemented okay we're gonna do this is that and and it, it matched and then everyone, everyone liked it because it was like the it was like very formal at the same time <laughs> but like you know he was like trying to get out a girl and all that so <laughs> what a fun collaboration and hey I mean that song has just done so well say hi to the rest of the guys we're excited you guys are going to be playing at La Onda and next year uh, right around Bottle Rock so it's going to be a lot of fun Eslabon Armado is the name of the band and make sure you check it out and thank you so much for being here we appreciate you waking up like 10 minutes ago <laughs> and we know you're talking to us from Riverside you, but you, you represent Redwood City too Oh, yeah. I would say 100%. And I usually wake up by 11, so this is the first time I wake up by 8. <laughs> you do not do our hours, for sure. Well, stay in touch with us. Let us know how things are going. We'd love to have you back on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good yeah, luck. and enjoy your breakfast. We saw you sneaking bites of that yogurt on the yeah, side. Yeah, put some pants on. Put <laughs> exactly. some pants on. Exactly. That's really going Bay Area backstage right there. <laughs> Getting all Thank the you. good stuff. Take Thank care. you, Pedro. Muchísimas gracias. We appreciate yeah. it.